uh, what's special about the USC UCLA rivalry and how does it affect the week leading up to practice? Well, hopefully it doesn't affect us too much, you know what I mean? Uh, obviously there's a lot of tradition there and, and being new to here, uh, it's kind of something new to me too, you know? So um, I'm excited to be a part of it. Uh, but I think, you know, for our guys in particular, uh, we got to try to keep it, you know, as, as close to the same as it's been or as it could be. Um, you know, I think that our guys have done a really nice job preparing, especially the last couple of weeks. And it's given an opportunity to, to play well on Saturdays. And so, uh, to me, that's got to be our message. And what I've tried to tell the guys is we just got to prepare like you've done the last couple of weeks, and that's enough, you know. And, and uh, obviously, there'll be a lot of um, outside stuff going on. And, and uh, for both the fan bases, it'll be a big game. And uh, we got to give our chance, to give ourselves the best chance to uh, go play well. And, and the best way to do that is to prepare the right way. When you were a player, did you ever get caught up in rivalry stuff at all? <laughs> Not really. I think. Uh, part of it is, in, especially at Texas Tech, but um, in the Big 12, rivalries are kind of messed up. You know, it's, just, it's hard to say who's a, who's a rival to who. And, and uh, you know, probably Texas Tech people would say that a and is a rival, but A&M would say Texas is a rival. Texas would probably say OU is the rival. And you can make the argument that OU would say Oklahoma State's the rival. So um, you kind of got to you kind of got a twisted little rivalry deal set up in there. But um, you know, for us, I think I mean at Texas Tech, I think the the team that. Uh, your fans just like the most probably Texas A&M, but again, we tried our best just to prepare the right way, and, and uh, you know I was fortunate enough to beat those guys every time. So uh, I, <laughs> I like that rivalry, but uh, you know again, I think the key is just to try to prepare the best the best that you can the same way. And uh, like I said, when, when, when you play, there's obviously going to be a lot of emotion, and uh, it should be a great atmosphere when two teams, two big rivals, play. Uh, but again, you got to prepare the right way to give yourself a chance to play to be successful, and, and that's what I think our guys have bought into, and we got to do. When you consider the, the youth that you had on, on offense, especially at the start of the season. Was it kind of your expectation that it would take until you know November for to really see like what the offense was fully capable of, kind of like what's happening now? Well, you know, I think that any time that, I mean, like I've said since I've been here, the more experience you get, the better you're gonna be. Um, and especially in a system and coming in with a brand new system. Uh, I have high expectations. We have really talented guys, and, and every week I expect to go play well. Um, and But, you know, I do think that as you get later in the year, you kind of start to see some guys settle in, and, and really not even just the young guys, but really even the old guys um, kind of really starting to understand what we're trying to do and understand the system and, and play at a high level. And so, um, you know, it's been fun to be a part of it. I mean, fun to see the last couple of weeks. Uh, I think they're practicing the right way. Uh, the, they're, pre they're preparing the right way, and like I said, I think a lot of it's culture, and, and, uh, and they've done a great job of not only buying into what we do schematically, but culturally too, and preparing the right way. But um, again, with a lot of youth and a lot of young guys, any college experience is going to help, but, but especially with a brand new system, I think that um, experience in the system improves every week, and so I, you know, that, that's been the goal is to improve every week, and uh, I think they've done that, especially lately. They've really played at a high level, and so we got to keep that going. You've been kind of two different offenses this year, the more balanced one early on and then more pass heavy. Which one is more true to your your style and what you kind of envision? I love to throw the ball, but, um, I, you know, I think that with, a, with the team we have, and really any time, I, I do like to run the football, and I think you got to run the football to win, to win games, you know. I think that lately the, the heavier pass has probably been more to personnel, due to personnel right. issues than, than necessarily um, what I'd like to do. Uh, but it's been fun, and like I said, when, when you can throw the football um, effectively, it makes it fun, and, and it gives a chance to do that. But you know, like I said, I think lately a lot of it's been we just don't have a ton of depth at the running back position, and so you don't have a ton of guys to hand the ball to. So it kind of forces you to throw the football. But again, it has been fun, and I love to throw it. You know, but um, I love to win a lot more than I love to throw it. So whatever it takes to win, I, I'll do. Um, and, and I do think you got to run the football to win, but. Um, they're doing a great job, like I said, with the, with the personnel we have, with who we have here, uh, with who we have healthy. It's, it's had to, we've had to throw the ball some, and, and uh, you got to credit everyone, really. You know, I think the receivers have played, a high, have played at a high level. Keaton in the last couple of weeks has really played at a high level, and that puts a lot of stress on the offensive line. That's what I think a lot of people don't realize is, is throwing the football just with the skill guys. Yeah, you can do it all day, and I think you'd be really effective. Um, but that just puts a lot of stress and a lot of pressure on that O-line to perform well. Uh, and they've answered the call. And, and so, um, 
that's probably who it's harder on than anyone is the offensive line because the defense line gets the tee off on them a little bit, pin their ears back and rush. Uh, and they've protected really well. And, you know, last, last week we, we took quite a few shots, and that takes time to get off. And uh, they gave Key in the time to throw it, and then the guys made the play. So, uh, like I said, I think a lot of it's just been due to the who we have healthy. But uh, the guys have done a great job doing whatever it takes. Has there been any learning process for you this year going from North Texas to USC and <laughs> Carolina? Uh, I think always, just like a player, I think the more experience you get, the, the better you're going to get. Um, but, you know, I think at the end of the day, it's football's football, you know. And so um, no matter what level you're at, I mean, at the college level, uh, you're dealing with probably a little bit better athletes here, obviously, and, and especially, you know, those, those receivers right over there are pretty special guys. Um, so um, that makes it fun, and, and you can do a few more things with them uh, and get creative with them. But for the most part, if you look at what we did at North Texas and look at what we did here, it's, it's really similar. And... Uh, I think at the end of the day, it comes down to just doing the things right. And like I was talking about earlier, buying into the culture, buying into what we do, how we do it. And if you do that, you give yourself a chance to be really successful. And I think in this offense, um, like I've talked about since I've been here, the longer you're in it, the better you're going to be. But also, um, when you do things right, you can see it can be really, really effective. And you can put up a lot of great numbers and score a lot of points. Um, so I think that they've done a great job of doing that. To be honest. I mean, the whole, the whole offense has, and we've improved every week. And, and like you said, it kind of seems like we're gelling at a pretty good time right now, and uh, we got to keep doing that. So like London is, is obviously physically talented and he's had an exceptionally second half of the season, but is there more than that that allows a, a, a true freshman to be able to perform like that? Uh, for sure. I mean, because there's a lot of talented freshmen out there, and very few of them play at the level that Drake's played, especially lately. Um, but, but he's been great since he's been here. You know, I think just, again, he's gotten more and more comfortable. Um, he has a skill set I've never seen. He's as good as I've ever been around. But I really what I think allows him to be successful as early as he's been successful is, is his mentality, you know. And, and uh, the great thing about Drake is he wants to be coached hard. And, and if he comes off to the sideline and you get on him, he gets pissed off, not because you got on to him, but because he feels like he didn't do something exactly right. And, and that's the kind of guy you want. And that's why he's been successful. It's not – obviously his talent is, is – exceptionally high um again i haven't been around one with with his skill set but his mindset what makes him better and if you watch last last week you know i think a lot of people saw well he had a lot of great plays and made a lot of great catches and he did uh, but if you watch a couple of the blocks he has that's probably been more impressive than you know to, to for a basketball guy that um uh, you know a lot of times you think well he's probably not a real physical guy or something you know when he's a freshman he's young and he wants to go put his face on him and, you know there, there's even times where he'll he'll say coach call that one play where i can go block that guy you know because that's just his mindset, and, and I think that that's allowed him to be successful more than his talent. And obviously, his talent plays a huge role in it, but there's a lot of talented freshmen that don't play at his level uh, because they don't have the same mindset and the same mentality that Drake has. And uh, I think that's separated him as a freshman, and it's going to continue to separate him the longer he plays. Thanks, Graham. Yep. Thank you. Thank you.